Hey, what's up everyone? So today we will be speaking about the bishop and the armor clergy. Uh, I will start with the bishop because I think this guy is the strongest of the two, personally. Um, I really like this skill here, the fear 2. Uh, there is two range, uh, three range basically, no. Um, yeah, three range, range of three. And then you do AOE uh, from two square, two square away from the, the person you hit. And you will uh, reduce the main attribute by 50%, so you will half all, all, all the stats. And you will also, this is not showing, but you do damage. You also do magic damage on them. It's not crazy magic damage, but it's pretty useful. I mean, it's around like 50 to 60 in my case. And yeah, so this skill is very, very good. Uh, in my opinion, it's pretty OP. I will make a video on it, actually. I will make a separate video about how the, the bishop is really useful. Um, motivation here, you can give uh, three energy to your friendly target, so to an ally. You can use this if you prefer, you just basically transfer your tree action point to someone else and you will increase their damage by 5% and a bit more based on your will I guess. I'm not sure if the 5% is supposed to change based on your will or if it's just after but yeah. Uh, you can also do a regeneration like skill so you restore 6 HP per turn here and Zialo tree is like, <laughs> it's pretty, I mean you you increase your the damage of your ally by 77 percent and you it, and the damage reduced by 77 percent as well it's scaled based on will it lasts two turns but when it finished the target you your ally will lose 75 percent of his hp so it's kind of a berserk mode um after two turn you just you just like become if you finish inside of two turn good for you but then <laughs> if not i'm not sure if it's max hp or if you can heal this maybe you can heal this because this guy is also a healer because you use scepter and for now all the scepters just bring healing okay scepter does not give magic damage yet i did not see any scepter giving magic it's all healing so this is that about the skill uh, here is the passive so you get plus two maximum energy so you can go up to five because of course fear is costing five and when someone is attacked around you you have a chance to get um, one energy back so this is I mean that can be pretty useful actually uh, especially when you really need it um, this one pa the passive you can have one energy every turn by 30 30 percent chance to get it and you also you can also increase your max energy to six um, when using a healing you can increase your healing based on your will this is pretty good for a healer and you can increase your magic hit which is i mean i don't think that one is that useful um the passive they mostly get is eating crit plus seven uh, i mean it's not exactly plus seven but my level is seven so yeah uh, healing receive and the magic resist um, are they really that useful? I mean the healing thing, yes, the magic resist, uh, that's pretty rare, but yeah, so these are the ones. So that's pretty much it. You have a scepter, the scepter will heal, they have light armor and stuff, so there is not much to say about that, but the fear skill is pretty strong. And again, I will make another video after my school. I, I, have, I don't have a lot of time right now. So the clergy now. The clergy is a bit different I don't consider that I don't don't consider him that hopey but he has weapons this is not the strongest weapon that but there is a the 50 damage one the 49 I think um, target defense minus 15 percent and can stack so you can reduce the defense of your enemy over and over and over and this guy is a tank so basically is a you he, he will at the end finish to kill someone right if you don't if you don't kill him already if he fight the armor guy he will finish to to kill him and the reason why is this guy is kind of a paladin if you want he can but he can heal himself okay so the first thing here is you can do judgment which is a stun basically you will for attraction point you will do less damage but you will stun uh, the target will not be able to take any action and then valor gift here which is fun but i mean it's fun yeah oh yeah fade barrier if you if you get killed and you have three action point you have 15 percent chance to not die this is the skill you maybe have seen sometime 
it's not a big chance and it's just I mean this one is just a gamble thing I guess and you don't have any skill if you equip that so I I mean that, that's fun I guess if you really just want to get um, a meat shield and maybe sometime it will survive a hit then you can go for that if you fight like really strong people like Naval Arena and you have Archer behind and you just want someone that just tank the most you can, I guess. Uh, other than that, this one, you re you have less damage but you restore your HP by 65% of the damage dealt and the same for the people next to you. It's not really reli reliable, like it's not like you will do huge damage, especially against armor and you will have the people you need to heal next to you. But it's funny, I, also, I mean, also heal yourself mostly. This is mostly the part you, you want, I guess. It's you can be a one man like tank and just heal yourself over and over. And also this, uh, you get dexterity difference block. So based on your dexterity, you, you will get more block value, which is this one of the skill I like the most on like Royal Cavalry and Royal Guard and also the uh, pav pavers, pavis, pavis crossbowmen. So they all have the, this. So this is cool to me. But this guy has no dexterity from his class, though. So he won't have as dexterity from the, the class he get, which is just the dexterity from your class that will change uh, from your potential of your unit. You get plus energy. Okay, when attack, you you have forty percent chance to recover fifteen percent of your HP and one energy so this thing is also cool like you can get zero damage and just heal yourself this is just a big tank that heals himself basically um, here when attack there is 40% chance to recover one energy so I took this one you can also increase the healing you receive and there is just these passive you reduce things and this is what you get so you get also magic defense block and physical defense so that guy is just a big tank again is a big tank that will most likely not kill anything one shot but because of his lack of dexterity I mean not dexterity but yeah I kind of still uh, mine has not as a in dexterity uh, but 58 I mean it's not that bad but it's not that high at this level I would get around 90 with someone else and so is it is not insane 172 percent uh, this guy, I mean, this guy is not uh, is not a fighter as uh, at all. So this guy is not com good for comparison. Yeah, I don't have anything else I could compare. This guy is probably a high hit. Yeah, 350. He's 10 level more though. But I mean, still, that's just for 10 level difference. There is a huge difference in my opinion. But yeah, because Royal Cavalry give dexterity in the build and not the clergy one. So, but yeah, this guy just it's a vitality strength guy uh, vitality will actually to boost this guy so he's giving will but will after will is only important for your class race you don't need will for anything after um, I don't think right there is just there is there something anything from will no there is something from will for the bishop but not this guy so uh, what I did is as you can see my potential is pretty weird I don't have will, but look at this. Chivalrous plus 7, strong will plus 5, uh, self -di discipline plus 5. So that gives me uh, 17 plus the, the 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 ring that will give me 22 and pl the ring um, you can have the ring that gives strength and will or just a regular ring if you want plus 3 will and that gives me 22 and the class before the bishop gives you 10 will directly in the build so that gave me 32 will so even if I had he will and no will at all I can still go to this class I mean that was the plan here because I don't have any unit that is strong on vitality and will you need a specific you know blood for that and uh, yeah so I just went for okay I have someone with a vitality and enough will to get the race and that's how I build this guy and in the end I mean this guy is more like a you become more a tanky offset person vitality dexterity and strength and the will is from the trade so that's pretty cool here and you don't need the will so I think it's good enough like this and yeah so that's it for the clergy and the bishop 
So thank you all for watching and I wish you all a good one. Bye.